the blue whale crane by Gavin and Chloe and Eliza. Imagine deep blue water swimming away. You just keep swimming and never stop. You have to rise up for air every time you need to breathe. You are swimming around a pile of trash and pollution. This place you're imagining is a blue whale's world. Sadly, their numbers have been dropping, but we hope to make their population right. right. I believe that our crime is going to fit all the needs of a blue whale because we will make sure to have the right amount of food in the whale's tank. Also, we will have the right attributes that a whale has in the wild. Our whale habitat fits all the needs of a blue whale. First of all, uh, we will have a large salt water pool to make the tank feel just like the ocean. Secondly, we will have a deep pool used for echolocation. That is how they communicate with one another. Also, they will need places to hide. We will put large rocks in the tank so the, the mother can have their babies in private. Next, we will have more than one whale in the tank because whales detonate and they also travel in pots. So we need a good amount of whales to be in the tank at a time. Another example is the what in the bottom of the pool we will have seaweed, rocks, and coral so we can make the tank look more like the ocean. Lastly, we have a thermostat in the tank because whales migrate from cool waters to warmer waters. So we will change the temperature of the water during migrating season. We will provide the whales with the right food and percentage that a whale has in the wild. First of all, a whale's favorite kind of food is squid. They can also eat up to 700 squid in one day. So we will make sure to have the right amount in the tank. Otherwise, the whale can get sick from eating too much food in a day. Secondly, in one month, a whale can eat up to 40 million crow. So we will make sure to have enough crow in the tank. Also, whales eat many plankton, so we will have live plankton and other food, other live food in the tank so that the whales can hunt it. Lastly, their other favorite kind of food is octopus, fish, and small sharks. In order to plan a great aquarium, we have to think about the baby whales. First of all, we will have backup bottles, emergency bottles, in case the mother is unable to provide feeding or gets sick and dies. Secondly, we will change the temperature when the mother is soon to give birth because the adult whale migrates to warmer waters just to give birth. If we don't provide the right temperature, the mother whale may not be able to have her baby. Lastly, we will have a large tank because when the baby whale learns to swim, it will need to swim alongside its mother. There are many dangers to whales that we have to be mindful about while designing the aquarium. First of all, we will have to make sure the pool is always the right temperature because if not, the whale can either get overheated or it can be way too cold. Secondly, we need to make sure that we give them the right amount of food no more, no less, or the whale can get sick. Another detail we will think about is that whales go up to the surface to breathe, so we will have to make sure that the whale is not trapped into the tank, because if he is not able to go up to the surface to breathe, it can get sick and die very easily. Also, we need the right kind of food that the whales eat in the wild, because if we feed them food that they are not familiar with, they could get sick. Lastly, we need to make sure that people can't reach the whales because they may litter, and we brought the whales out of the ocean to save them because of litter and pollution. Blue whales are currently on the endangered species list. In order to get them off the endangered species list, we will do everything that we can to provide the right features that they have in the wild, such as terms of habit, food, safety, and security for their babies. Our aquarium has all that and much more. I believe that our aquarium is the best possible fit for the blue whale because we will have all the right attributes that a blue whale has in the wild, and we will try to make the blue whale feel like it is in the wild. With our aquarium, we will make their population rise.